Hello engineers, in this video we will examine variables and parameters on GitHub workflows. If you like the content I create and you want to support my channel for free, press the like button and subscribe on my channel. On GitHub workflows, you can use parameter to get the user input for various reasons. Except from parameters, you can also use variables in order to store values temporary in the pipeline run and use them in your tasks. Let's now see how we can use both of them. So I have created a workflow in a test repository and I have created one job inside this workflow. This job runs on Ubuntu latest agent and print both variables that have been set using the env keyword and also the parameter that the user will provide. So in order to get the user input from this action, I have created the workflow dispatch sanction that this has been placed under the own keyword. So the own keyword we specify when this workflow will run. So I have specified that on push and push request of the main branch, this pipeline will run and also we can use the workflow dispatch keyword in order to run this pipeline manually. So when you have the workflow dispatch added in your GitHub action, then you will find the button run workflow in the action. So I have navigated in actions and the test workflow that I have created, I can run workflow. And as you can see, we have an input that says, give me your username and you can specify your input. So in order to do that, you have to specify under inputs, a simple input. So for example, I called it username and you can add description and also a default value for this input. And when you create your input, you can print the value that the user added using this notation. So you can use inputs and then add the name of the input that you have created. So in my case, it's username. So in this way, you can use the inputs that you have specified in your workflow. And as a second step, I have created a variable which you can create using the env keyword. So you specify a variable called name, a environment variable that you can then use using the dollar sign. So as you can see, I'm using the dollar and I am printing with an echo the variable that I have created in the specific step. So this is a step inside our job. So if we go and run this pipeline, this workflow, you will see and perform a refresh. You will see that this pipeline has been manually run by me. And when the job runs, we will see that the username is the one that we provided as input and the variable that we printed says my name as I have specified here. In this way, you can use user input in your GitHub workflows or store variables that you may need in the pipeline workflow.